Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to get more sales on eBay. And this is not speculation. This is actually factual tips I'm going to be giving you guys. Things that I do every single day on all my listings and just how I run my eBay business. So make sure you guys like the video, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And I'm going to pop my sell-through rate up here. My sell-through rate is 2.4% as we speak right now, but I usually hover around 22 um, I just have been getting a pretty good amount of sales lately and I've been seeing a lot of people complaining other youtubers and just people on Instagram and stuff like that and I try not to really pay attention to that stuff but it's kind of hard when this is what you do and it kind of just one of those things that just pops up every once in a while and um, you really have to like watch out who you listen to on YouTube honestly like there's only a few youtubers that I watch and I can name them you know daily refinement and part-time pickers just because I like his videos on you know just seeing what he grabs and just more of like entertainment and daily refinement um, I look up to him as like more of a mentor and somebody that just I look up to in business in general so you really uh, want to narrow down who you watch on YouTube as well if you're watching you know 10 15 20 different resellers there's gonna be different information getting put out to you and you might get overwhelmed and you don't know what to believe. So anyways, let's get back to the main part of the video. So I'm gonna pop my sell through rate up here. It's 2.4% I have a total of 800 active listings in my store on average. And I list 15 to 20 items a day, every single day, um, six days a week. And you know, a lot of people, like I said, have been complaining about sales. Some people are saying their sell through rates lower than 1%, it's like half a percent. So how that works is say if you have 800 listings like myself, you should be selling through 1% if you're doing clothing. Now this depends on what category you're in, but we're using the example of clothing because that's what I sell and that's what I know a lot of you guys sell. So say if you have 800 listings like myself, you should be selling 1%, which is eight items per day. So as you see, my sell through rate that I popped up, I'm, I'm selling around 2.4%. So the things that I'm gonna be telling you guys in today's video is factual, it's not speculation. Um, these are things that I do every day. So number one is you need to list quality items every single day. So you need to make sure you have good photos. And if you have an iPhone, use square mode. Um, that's what you know ranks really good in, in eBay and Google. So make sure you're using square mode and also make sure you have good titles and keywords. I'm gonna maybe pop up a picture right here of a listing that I have and you can see um, kind of how I structure my titles. That's how I structure all my shirts. So you can see vintage Oakland Raiders shirt. And then I put men's, the size, large, and then I also spell it out and then put the letter L. Um, because if the buyer searches for that item, they might put L or large and I rank into that eBay algorithm. And also, you the a key tip that nobody really talks about either is when you uh, sell an item, you really want to kind of be the buyer and how would you search for that item that you're trying to sell? So how would you type in the search bar to find that item that you're gonna buy. So for me, I'm gonna put Nike shirt, men's size medium or men's size large, that's my size. So that's how I structure my title. So that's tip number one. Number two, you need to promote your listings. It's very competitive. I know a lot of people don't like giving eBay more money, but this is just something that you have to do. Um, I like to do everything that eBay recommends for the most part. So for promoted listings, I promote my listings at two to 3%. Um, that's what works for me. And I usually have about 50% organic traffic and then 50% um, promoted traffic so it's like half and half but um, that's kind of just how I play and if you're selling like really saturated items um, like saturated meaning like say this Nike shirt probably very saturated because there's a lot on eBay you might have to promote your listing even more maybe you know I don't know exactly four or five six percent um, but don't be afraid to you know promote your listings that's a good way to get in front of more buyers and then number three, guys, is you need to send out offers every single day to buyers. So that's a feature that you that is on eBay on the mobile app um, or just on eBay, send offers to buyers. Don't let it get to 10, 20, 30, 40. Send them out immediately. As soon as you see them, send them all out at the same time and that will help with your sales and your sales conversion rate. Um, and make sure you guys give out deals. If it's inventory that's just been sitting for a long time, don't be afraid just to discount it and get it out and just buy better inventory. Um, I do that all the time. Um, if it's something that's been sitting for months and months or maybe even a year and someone sends me an offer, no matter what the offer is, I usually just take it. Because, and then I just know like not to pick that item up no more or, or that size of that item. So that's something that just comes with experience, guys. And then, um, yeah, so that's some key things that you can do. 
um, when you're selling on eBay. That's the things that I do every single day. So also your return policy, make sure you have a good return policy and you you know do seller returns as well and really aim to be that top rated seller on ebay so you get more traffic that way as well so um, that's some tips guys for you guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one peace out actually i forgot one really key part of the video and that one of the tips that i forgot to say is you need to really work on your pricing as well you don't want to price your items too high and you don't want to price them too low so i like to play in the middle so i like to price my items you know in the middle of the market so say for example this dixon flannel company this flannel right here say it sells for 60 dollars, which they sell for 60 bucks or more on ebay um say say it sells for 60 i don't want to list it obviously for 30 but i want to kind of play in that middle ground so i'll price it at 49.99 plus 5.99 shipping and if i get an offer for 40 i'll take that offer all day long because i only paid five dollars for it so don't be afraid to price in the middle and kind of just have a number that you're willing to take. So on, to be 100% honest, like say if I had that at 50 bucks and someone offers me 35, 40 bucks and I have shipping on top, I definitely will take the offer. So always add shipping too. So if you're shipping first class items, things that weigh under a pound, I usually charge 499. And then for heavier items, for jackets, pants, you know, maybe heavy flannels and stuff like that, I charge $8.99, which is a padded flat rate, which you can get on USPS.com for free. And if it's heavier than that, or just bigger, needs a box or something, I'll use a medium flat rate. This one's all messed up, but you guys can get the GIF medium flat rates. You can get those online, um, USPS.com as well. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video for me and subscribe if you're new. See you guys next time. Peace out.